trademark is, is a famous one already abroad, uh, outside China. Yeah. Professor Li, is there any special protection of such foreign, uh, famous foreign trademark? Well, you, you, if you say the famous trademark, maybe that's the term used in the United States. Uh, as I know, the general, generally speaking, we, are, we use the one trademark. Uh, that's the uh, same meaning. Mm -hmm. And uh, in, in, the, in our current law, there is no provision to protect the well-known trademark. But in our, how to say, the implementation regulation for the trademark law, there is a provision. And also according to this provision, the administrative for industry and c commerce, mm. uh, how to say, issued several uh, two regulations to uh, control or to management uh, the well-known trademark. And also, according to to my knowledge, uh, at the end of the last year, the administrative recognized the 196 trademarks, registered mm. trademarks, as the well-known trademark. And uh, for the first file and the first use system, mm. in China we are first file. But uh, if the foreign trademark is a well-known trademark, even if his owner or its owner did not come to China to register. Maybe the court or the, how to say, the trademark office will consider the situation. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, according to the Paris Convention, Paris Convention for the Protection of Industrial Property Right, mm -hmm. uh, there is a provision that if uh, uh, famous trademark or well-known trademarks uh, were registered by uh, other person uh, with bad facts, and then uh, the owner have an opportunity to oppose or get his right back. Mm -hmm. 